The McLaren 570S Spider is madness not the car itself, which is a cogent convertible design based on the already handsome coupe. What is crazy is that a 562 horsepower machine that hammers to 62 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds is only considered a sort of kind of supercar. The Spider will be McLaren's volume model in its lowest priced, lowest tier sports series designation. As such, it is the company's starter supercar. Should you have $208,800 in your Vamo account, you won't give up anything except that fixed roof. There's no perceivable performance demerit when it comes to this retractable hardtop, as it was developed alongside the regular 570S from the onset the 0-60 to 60 time is a non-discernible one-tenth of a second slower, and it still gets to a 204 mile per hour top speed when the roof is up if you insist on a top velocity hurdle with wind bathing the cabin, it would only limit you by 8 mph so, yes, madness it gains only 101 pounds bringing it to 2,895 one assumes that the real-world difference is negligible. To find out, we flew to Barcelona, enjoying a full day scuttling over gloriously curvy roads in an otherwise remarkably unpopulated part of the world. I recently spent a week with a regular 570S, so my ass was as calibrated as one could hope would there be any failings of the spider over the coupe? Our test car was outfitted in a new hue, a deep vega blue, with a dark finish on the roof and body accents the spider retains the same roofline as the hardtop and it is instantly recognizable as a variation. McLaren has finally settled into its own design language, with highly identifiable rear tail lamps and those unique 3D tendon doors first seen on the 570S coupe and which have now migrated to the 720s. It's an architectural leaning language that translates beautifully into a roadster with the top down. The Spider gets more attention than the coupe, and perhaps even more than the 720S, which I tested recently in Rome. Perhaps people simply feel drop tops are especially exotic.